And how long has it been now? For at least 30 plus years. Yeah. I Since I, like 87. I did an interview with Larry Hoover Jr. And your grandfather came up. Okay. Uh, it was a thing where it was it, it was rumored and that he him and uh, Larry Hoover Sr. sit down and ate together. There was a, re a report a couple of months back that was saying that your father had, uh, this could be true or not true, I'm asking, had um, been seen in the cafeteria with Jeff Fort or something like that, that they had had a sit down together or something? Okay, at one point in time, they were in a senior program, didn't mm -hmm. last long. And they got the they were they were able to eat lunch together. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. So now what you got out here today that they are using to keep him behind bars and stuff like that is not his men, not his people, not his lessons, not his nothing that he's about. They never got my grandfather in jail for no gang activity. Wow. That's the key part. It's nothing gang activity. Right now he's held for the terrorists. Uh, situation but nothing that was nothing that was like if you read it and go through it it's nothing that really stick it's like they really is just holding this man and how long has it been now for at least 30 plus years yeah I since I, like 87 I did an interview with Larry Hoover Jr. and your grandfather came up okay. uh, it was a thing where it was it, it was rumored and that he him and uh, Larry Hoover Sr. sit down and ate together. There was a, re a report a couple of months back that was saying that your father had uh, this could be true or not true. I'm asking had um, been seen in the cafeteria with Jeff Fort or something like that. That they had had a sit down together or something. Okay, at one point in time, they were in a senior program. Didn't mm -hmm. last long. And they got the they were they were able to eat lunch together. They were they they used to be able to hang out together. Yeah, so yeah, that's so basically what I want. So yeah. they was cool. They was they communicating all that. Oh yeah, they definitely they definitely are okay with each other. Mm -hmm. They don't have no problems with each other. My son was asking my um, or was it my daughter? One of my kids was asking my father, did who did he have any friends here? And he was saying Jeff, but. So my father wow. idolized Jeff that's as a That's what I'm kid. saying. I, people need to know. That's know type that. of stuff people need to know. Like, that they in there and they, they he look at him as a friend or whatnot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. remember when I was saying that um, you see the people around you when school and all that ain't really it for you? Jeff Fort was one of the people that he seen. He wanted to, um, he said he wanted a game bigger than Jeff Fort's. Yeah. So that's what he was, he idolized him for and was trying to do. He mm -hmm. was almost a part of the Stones, but he was a kid, and they wanted to make him like a um, like an honorary, an honorary Stone or something. And yeah, he, and he was thinking like being the main twenty one or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so, man. He, oh, they trying to bring him from the bottom up. Yeah, they was go, all right, all right, kid. <laughs> yeah, and he started doing his own thing, and he say by the time they noticed him again, you know, they was grown and. Well, not grown, but they were um, they were doing their thing. You, mm -hmm. you couldn't tell them nothing. Now they were now they was rivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While they're incarcerated. Yeah, and yeah. I thought that was that was a a, a dope mentally. thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Very so cute. did you did you hear about that? Yeah, or that? I heard about it uh, that it happened. And again, from what I know, like uh, Larry is a Muslim as well. Okay. Uh, what people don't understand and. Um, and I think it would stop a lot of things in a sense if they, or at least bring some type of awareness that at one point, and still, Larry and my grandfather are close friends. Okay. Uh, Larry and different individuals in these different organizations from Chicago, they actually looked to my grandfather with the lessons and the teachings. He was not a threat because of gang. He was a threat because of the unity the unification. He was Mm -hmm. The knowledge he was sharing that wasn't just his. He was going to get it and picking it up and sharing it. Islamic faith is not his. It's giving you these things so you can know. He was teaching people nationality or at least opening the door for you to know about nationality, being a Moor, and knowing that, you know, Negroes and blacks and all these different things was not a name that of a person, of a free person, but a person that was, that was given by slave owners. Mm -hmm. And over years, they just gave it to us and made it seem like it was regular to us. 
Mm-hmm. But that was the case when it kind of helped. But yeah, Larry and 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 Larry was part of of my grandfather at one time. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, and I say that to say a lot of these things is just about disunity. They want to keep us in disunity. You know what I mean? But he he's better out than in. Correct. You know, I represent what he's representing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here killing and, and, and acting crazy. Like, uh, you know, like, I'm a, I'm a man. I believe in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.